Hello and welcome to this video on automated analytics and newsfeed in Aviva Insight. Automated analytics requires zero user configuration and is a fully included feature of every Insight solution. Automated analytics detects variations and anomalies in your incoming data based on statistical AI and machine learning concepts. Let's take a look at this in action. Here I have an Insight solution for a brewery with real-time data coming in. On the home page here, I can see the suggested content, which is automatically generated based on assets that I interact with the most. On the right hand side, I have the news feed where I can see the top stories that come up. These news stories are generated automatically and are fully interactive. Taking an example, here we have a news feed item that shows that lower than usual OEE for bottle line 002 was detected. The scatter plot shows the normal values as green dots and the anomaly detected in red dots. This can be a value insight to an emerging anomaly that you may not have been aware of unless you are actively analyzing the data already. Clicking on the arrow here also opens further information on this newsfeed item. It provides a summary of the anomaly in simple language and some background information on the tag, like its source and its measure. Each graph on the newsfeed item is interactive. When you click on it, it opens up the explore trend, where you can further analyze the anomaly and make decisions. The newsfeed item can be seen on the explore trend for more context. Based on the information, you can like or dislike by clicking on the buttons to say if the information is useful or not. The newsfeed items are curated based on that feedback. If you like newsfeed stories, you will see similar types more frequently. If you dislike newsfeed stories, you will see similar types less frequently. Now let's look at a newsfeed item specific to an asset. To do that, we need to go into the assets and search for the asset. Let's take brewing as an example. Clicking on the search result opens the asset page for brewing. Here again, on the right hand side, we can see the newsfeed items. The newsfeed item shown here would include brewing and all the assets in the hierarchy under brewing. So here we would have newsfeed content coming in from brewing, brew kettle 100 and 200. You can scroll through all the newsfeed items to get an update on all the anomalies for your assets. Clicking on the more news button opens up an asset news section where you can search and filter your news items. To filter news, you need to click on the filter button and select your filter specifications. You can filter based on search, date range, type of news, or a combination of the three. Under the type of news, we can see the different types of anomalies and variations that are shown under newsfeed. These are the types of variations and anomalies that are detected using automated analytics. If you have any guided analytics models set up, those items would come under the newsfeed and you could search for them as well. Guided Analytics is an add-on module to the base Aviva Insight solution. Comments also trigger news, so you can filter on comments. Detected higher or lower values than normal are examples of where the system automatically learned what normal is and detected that incoming data was either higher or lower than usual. Detected higher or lower variations than normal is similar to high or low value, but based on the variation of data. Certain tags can have cycle times, and we can track and see if there is a variation in these cycle times to detect if they are higher or lower than usual. Tags relate differently is a multi-tag anomaly detection done automatically. This is an automated way the correlation between tags can trigger news. But Aviva also has other solutions that allow you to configure models for more advanced detection. And finally, we have two different types of flatlines. If the tag has flatlined or the entire source has flatlined. To use the filter, all you have to do is select the options and search. For example, if I select last seven days and value low, I can see all the newsfeed items for brewing that show a lower than normal value. 